All right. So here's the sun spec. I already have it sparred up. So what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna show you how to spar something like a strap piece of foam here. I'm just gonna cut it in half. Okay. Then you get two halves, right? So what you do with two halves of wings, you grab your goop, and then you're gonna slather some on here. Do a nice healthy bead. You can always wipe off the excess. Close this up here quick. So, when you get those two halves together, you kind of mush it together. I'll kind of put it on this camera too so you can see. You mush it together. Try to line everything up nice. Then what sometimes people do is break it apart and let it let it sit for a little while. Um, that helps get it kind of tacky, and then when you put it back together, it just it just sticks really nice. So I'm just gonna put it back together now because this is just an example. But yeah, so once you're back to together, you're sitting nice. You basically you're gonna let this sit overnight. That's kind of that step. Make sure everything's straight. What some people do is use pins as well. This isn't a pin, but you would just slide a pin in. You would slide a pin in like this. That way you can get it to stay in one shape. And then you can also put weights on it to keep it from spreading or anything like that. So you got your wing halves glued together and you let it set up overnight. You can start laying your spars in. So let's say you got to set it up 20 millimeters from the leading edge. You grab your ruler here. Mark your 20 mil there. Mark your 20 mil there. And then you can set this ruler down and use this as your guide. And trace out this line. Usually a marker works better than a pen, but this is what I got. But anyways, you can kind of see the, the line that I drew. So, what you do next is you're going to cut your slit. Usually I like to set the, set the blade to a certain height. Usually you do not want to go above the foam. Usually something about that is good. And then you're going to slice right along your line. Done this a few times so I can I tend to make things look a little easy. Now you got your slit and then what you do here, I'm not going to do it, but you're basically going to you're gonna use usually like E6000 as a tip. That's a little bit easier to use, but you're gonna just slather this in the in the gap, you know, pretending this pen would be would be your, your applicator. You just jam it in here like this. It's coming apart because it's not set up. Yep, you just open that gap up, and then you lay your glue in. All right. So then once your your glue is laid in there, you grab your spar. I recommend wearing gloves with these. Um, they come in black or white. They're just fiberglass spars. But I recommend wearing gloves because if you run your finger up them, it, uh, it hurts pretty bad. Where's my, there it is. So then once you want to lay your spar, you just push it in the gap here. Sometimes it takes a little force to get it in there. That's why I use like a screwdriver instead of my own finger. Of course I didn't cut my slit real good. There we go. But yeah, you just shove it in there. It's not not pretty how you do it, but once it's in, you, you want to make sure it's not, for one, not bending your your foam in any direction, but you also want to have it so it's flush with the top or below. Once it's below that, it's much better. Um, you're not going to have any adverse effects over the wing. So, but yeah. There's how you lay spars in. So now if you look at my spec wing over here, my son of spec, you'll notice that you'll notice that all my spars are in. They're nice and smooth in there. And that's pretty much the layout. Top and bottom are different, so notate that in your manual or your build guide. So yeah, next we're gonna do uh, balsa elevons and I'm gonna show you how to do goop hinges.